Yes, I'm Colin Cant, uh, BBC director, um, and directed um, the six episodes of Moondial by Helen Creswell. And I'm Siri O'Neill, then Neil, um, who played Minty Araminta Kane in Moondial. <laughs> My first ever job. And so I think the thing to note here is that because of restrictions, we couldn't film at night, so all of this was filmed during the day. Which I think you can tell, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. This, this, this sequence wasn't in the script at all, but uh, it seemed like a good idea to, to introduce a kind of weird aspect to it. Yes. I remember you saying here, tell me sore feet because you were on pebbles. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> What a yeah. pro, eh, Colin? <laughs> I, I mean, you, had you, I asked you to do it several times. The more I look at it, the more I see you are sort of... Limping along. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've still got a pebble in that foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, not the world's sexiest nighty, but there you go. Oh. It's a children's programme. <laughs> but this, I thought this sort of set up a, quite a weird feel to the whole thing. I thought that was a terrific close-up there. It's yeah. good, actually, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that was Jacqueline Pierce, who was Jacqueline totally Pierce, yes, yes. exceptional Miss actress. Uh, <laughs> and a proper actress as well, really kind of. Do you remember her laugh? <laughs> Could fill the room. <laughs> it did, fill the whole site, yeah. We became very good friends through yeah. this. And now back to normality. Most of it was shot at Belton, but was this one of the Hillington Hospital houses? I, I, I think it was, actually. Yeah, I think it was. Actually, yeah, yeah, think it was. But it was good to have the run of the place, which was good. I remember, actually, filming there, and I put on some makeup, and then one of the makeup artists caught me <laughs> wearing makeup, and I said, don't tell on me. And they said, we're the ones you're not supposed to tell. <laughs> Goodness sakes. I had a one particular memory of how it all came about. And interestingly, Colin, That's when we so met up so recently at the BFI, when was that, last year? Last year. Was it last year? Um, that, I mean, that in itself is a bit of a story because we, <laughs> I, I was asked to go to the BFI and they wanted to run Moondial and then do a kind of Q&A session afterwards. They told me that they couldn't get hold of you and they weren't even oh, sure God. if you were alive <laughs> for the silence of the mm -hmm. Q&A mm -hmm. and tell them. I think you were much more qualified to talk about it than I was anyway. But so w when we met afterwards, you put me right because I'd had a slight false memory of the audition process. Yes. So well, you, yeah. So yes, that's right. Well, I, at Corona Stage School, um, as with a lot of educations, uh, you give them a description of the, the, uh, the characters and they put up. 20 or 30 of their students. Their little cuties. And so I got through all that lot. And then one year I, I tumbled to the fact that uh, they often hold back yes, children who are being naughty. Who are being naughty. Who are not, they don't, they don't, they're punished by not being put up for the uh, auditions. And guess who? Yes. And I said to Miss Muriel, mm -hmm. Miss Muriel, now, are you holding anybody back? Oh, well, we've got one. I said, well, OK, let's... let's <laughs> and now I, almost immediately I thought, right, this is the one. And I said to Miss Muriel, let's... let's oh, she said, you don't want to have that. She's, she's absolutely against you being cast in anything. Yeah, and you she were, thought I was trouble. You were sort of, yeah. Yeah, and in and fact, my mother was there before me and my mother was trouble. Too much work. I thought we were very well matched physically, the two of us, just in facially. Yes, you know? yes, yes. She looks like she won't miss me, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> it's a one way street. Yeah. <laughs> Things don't seem safe anymore. Good music cue there, just to, just to get us into the. 
This was a lovely location to work in. Yeah, yeah. You haven't grown another three inches. Five centimetres, actually. <laughs> Great line. <laughs> I think it's working. My son always says that. I don't want to grow. <laughs> He's got a very tall father. I don't want to grow. I want to be short. You remember where it is? It's the door facing you at the top of the stairs. I don't think you, you obviously hadn't... You didn't know what you were getting into. You didn't know anything about the script, did you? I didn't know anything. No, no one told me anything except that something terribly have been, exciting was happened that I couldn't be part of. I must have been blathering on about it because you, you, you certainly accepted it right away. You seemed to get right into what I was saying. Mm. And, uh, no, it was only when I'd seen the illustrations that had been put with the book that I felt anything other than in perfectly entitled. I looked mm. at this this little sort of wispy blonde girl that had been drawn into the illustrations and thought, oh my goodness, Colin was brave. That was actually quite different from what had been visualised, I think, in the early stages of writing it. They never threw anything away. Some of these must have belonged to her mother, or her grandmother even. Oh, I think I still got things from that room, actually, that were props <laughs> that they said, oh, do you know what, you can have that. I think I've got a tape holder. So I'm looking around in that room to see yeah, if I can yes. see. There was a Walkman scene, I remember. That's right, yes, off with that's a few right. little. I think I took a few of those with me at the end of the job. When I was little and stayed here, I always had the feeling, I don't know, as if something was happening. Ghost, you mean? Haunted. We've got a real throwback to the 80s in the costumes there, haven't we? I never <laughs> saw anything. I kept that necklace for years. I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> Spider web. But I shall. If there's anything here. All the all the women say things like uh, it's a it's a happening kind of place. Mm. I feel there's things here. And mm. You say if there is, I'll mm. I will I will I will spot it. And mm. I don't know. <laughs> what's the um? What's the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> we never quite followed up that so. No, exactly. It's a bit wistful, isn't it? Yes. I, I think we have to say it's definitely a fantasy. A mood piece. <laughs> it is. A mood piece. <laughs> Although I like the line, it's a happening kind of place. Yeah, that's well, actually a really well, that's good, right. it's that's a really right. good kind of tense. There are lots of lines that are terrific lines. Yeah. Um, um, sun and shade by turns, but always love it. You yes, think, yeah, they are wonderful. lovely. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. What does it mean? But that's probably why it's remained popular, is it's not spelt oh, out. You know, that's right. what all, all, you, most art strives to kind of... Yeah, well, you, you can know, put your some mystery in. Yeah. It. This stuff I kind of got right into, all the kind of spooky spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> like I struggled with walking and talking simultaneously then. <laughs> Found that very difficult. <laughs> Still do to this day. <laughs> That was the Walkman. <laughs> Goodness me, you wouldn't Still even. Your, yeah. your, your children wouldn't want it now, would they? They'd throw no, it back no. in your face. Clicky, yes. <laughs> I'll rather miss them. Come on, it won't be forever. Bye bye, sweetie. Bye. Now be good. <laughs> Nice little touches of that, the, the, the car starting and, the, and the, mm. mu the music coming in. Whose idea was that yours? No, no. No. I've forgotten his last name, David. David. Yeah. Sorry, were you calling me? It's tea time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I couldn't hear with you, sir. Why not? I've been calling for ages. What are those? They're headphones. When I've got them on, I can hear the music, but nothing else. I feel like her now about the modern world. I tell you, that's, that's me now. The roles have been reversed. <laughs> I remember that jelly. I ate that jelly <laughs> in the end. <laughs> I made a jelly. Children like jelly. I think they made three of those. You get started here. I wasn't shy of eating the props. I got in trouble a couple of times. <laughs> the, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I've done it in Con Continuity. Yes. <laughs> Listening, acting. Did the um, he played Sarah? Sarah Doyle. No, little who played? Did she? I was going to say, did she come from Corona as well? No, I no. don't think it was only Helen. me you had. Helen. 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 Yeah, Helen. Helena. Helen. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it was only me from Corona, and Tony, I think, was an Anna Sher boy, because I remember he introduced oh, yes, me yes, to Anna was, Sher, yeah. who I yeah. went to try and join yeah. after the project ended, and I didn't in the end, I went in a different direction, but she did accept me there, and I was going to go and join Anna Sher. All these stage schools, uh, we used to go to them for a particular, they always had particular types of types, children. Types, yeah. Anna Sher was always a kind of... Uh, yeah. Uh, rough end of Yes. <laughs> and Corona was always very uh, quality people that was. Yes. Well it had a kind of it had a it had a very old school stage school yes. atmosphere. Yeah. We were neighbours with Barbara Speaks and others ah. that were sort of newer, I think, but Corona was run by these two sort of very eccentric old ladies who'd had their own theatrical past that they never tired of of sharing with you. <laughs> Barbara Speaks were they were they were a hoot. Were they? Uh, oh because um Maybe know She's this, my mother. But, uh, they used to, to they used to put the same child up several to. times, but, uh, but different names. In different guises. Different, different, no. different ages, yeah, yeah. To get past all uh, the licensing and all this. Oh, my goodness. What a scream. Wow. Why don't you watch television for a bit? And there's a telly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how Helen meant this, but I always took that as a kind of pivotal moment that this hysterical reaction to the uh, was, was sort of put you into a different kind of um, yes dimension. a more receptive yeah, frame yeah, of mind yes, to yes. sense of the other world right, you've been pushed right. out of one world and into yeah, another that's right. yeah that's yeah i think we discussed that at the mm -hmm. time that did. Me that. i'm responsible for you i must do something why don't you go over to the house see if world's there at the lodge he was a lovely nice. man mm -hmm. likes children Mr. World to you, I suppose. It really wasn't the era of her fashion, was it? One way or another. Yeah, that's kind of emphasised here, what you said, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's emphasised here, what you said. Yes, the idea of yes. just being in a kind of... Yes. Days, oh, almost. Behind, no, I yeah, so I mean, um, Jane Raleigh, who's um, become a, a really good friend now, was our tutor on Moon Dial. And one of the things that Jane was always struggling with was the sort of the, to get you know enough time with us children on set to actually get the required amount of learning in that we had to do. There were stipulations, weren't there? Obviously. There were restrictions on the number of hours that we could film, weren't there? And we had a certain amount of um, learning that we had to get in for our regular regular schoolwork. Three hours a day schoolwork mm. and your chaperone to take you away at the end of the working day. Mm. But it was very difficult to get those three hours because you were in everything. Absolutely everything. Mm. And so we had a body double, didn't we, that was the same height. Yeah. Couldn't have been more different. No, but it was Red just... Red-haired girls. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, it was just somebody to stand somebody in. Somebody to like stand that. in so that you could line the shots right, up. Right, that's right. And, uh, but she got way more out of you than I did, didn't she? You <laughs> must have taught her the, <laughs> everything she knows in the she, time that she, she was with you. <laughs> she did. She did all right, yeah. 
Now I know why I'm so dim to this day. Don't blame me. <laughs> no, in fact, you inspired me, Jane. I remember you teaching me French and me thinking, this is marvellous. And I wrote all these stories with you, didn't I? These, do you remember there was a story, that Jane was reminding me of it on the way up here, that she, this sort of epic story that, that I wrote. He had these sort of naturally emotional eyes. Yeah. Very good. Glistening kind Very of. Very good. And I haven't got the key. Like he, he's got a crack in his voice. Yes. And his whole, it's such yes. a vulnerability. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it, what he's doing? Yeah. I've come. No, the, uh, the, tu the tuition was a, was a problem, wasn't it? Uh, well, for us it was a problem. It was difficult for me as well because the site was so huge yes. and the grounds yes. and I was in a caravan, you know, miles away and I could never get away to... I, I was constantly saying, and where's Siri, where's Siri? But I couldn't get away because I always had one of the other children or the double. <laughs> well, uh, oh, I'm sure it was an oversight, but it, but it was very difficult to keep any kind of eye on what was going on on set, which... As I became more experienced, I became quite good at that. And I think there were occasions where I just decamped everything and came on to set. I remember that. I remember you doing, in Aunt, the, the, the sitting room in Aunt Mary's house, I remember there being another room in that house that we ended up doing tuition in some tiny little back room in that cottage rather than going to the, the caravan. I have a strong memory of your pencil case and all the lovely things <laughs> in it. Yeah, I remember struggling to walk and talk for this, I tell you. There was a whole scene of following the camera down a long corridor. I think we must have cut it in the end. I think I to use this, this business of symmetrical shots, once once you got to this stage, I'm trying to suggest that you're on a kind of route that was yes. pulling you along. Yes. So there's a symmetrical shot there, and then when you get to the, the moon dial and into the house, the same sort of oh, thing. Ah, right. You can only use that so many times, of course, it's coming. Had you set that up in your mind then, that? Yes. All of that is, before? Yes, ah. yes, yes. Somewhere deep down. I'm sure that can't be true. Not if she's still in a coma. <laughs> Mr. Benson. Yeah, that was cut, wasn't it? That long shot of walking down the corridor. I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I, I just, I think in the end, I just put a sort of, literally a bit of rope around me. <laughs> I got pulled along. And what were you saying? It was, I don't think there was any dialogue. It was just a walking oh, down no. the corridor shot. Oh, no of us getting to the bed. Mm. And did you, inspectors used to show up, didn't they? Yeah, typically on days when you've got hundreds of kids. Yeah. So, so I do also, I think, remember having blankets Doesn't on the ground surrounded by pumpkins and, yeah. you know, when there were lots of children, yeah. they, they would come and check that it's things were... Going as they should, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah. it was very difficult to keep the hours it was uh, inner, 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 yes, the Inner sentence. London Authority or something it was at the time, wasn't it? Inner London Education Authority. Mm, that's right, Ilya. Uh, and we used to have terrible battles with them before we got started mm. about the hours and how we could... I mean, the truth is the whole project was six weeks. You could really, I'm sure, have afforded to, you know, have you? had six weeks off. Was that what it was, six weeks? Three off? months. It was a three-month no, job. Three no, I'm sure it was very short. No. I, I you said, think it was three months? I, I thought it was eight weeks shoot. Oh, yes, I think eight weeks shoot. Yeah. But it wasn't more than that, Jane, I don't think it was. But there must have been rehearsals? I don't remember. It's not Did we have rehearsals? <laughs> well, I don't remember rehearsals. No. At all? No. You look really upset, that's good. I thought your, <laughs> your hair was pulled back as well, all sort of... <laughs> Mum? Did it overshoot? Oh, God, I can't. No. That was one thing Colin was famous for. Famous for? Getting in early. <laughs> that, that, well, that, that, that was done. That was the only one I ever did. Oh, was it the only one that you got in early? I was famous for go overshooting. Uh, oh, I and see. No one this one, because it was so contained in Belton, and there was no sort of outside disturbances of any kind. Oh. No, but that was, that was true. Did you just get it in on time, or were you actually early I was, for I was actually I was actually two or three days. Early? Early. Mm. But then, as you say, it wasn't a busy, built-up area. It you didn't have no. the intrusion that you might have somewhere else no, that would ruin no, your shot. No aircraft, no traffic, no... Yeah. What a no difference that must make. good, yeah. Yeah. I'm sad we were to talk about it. I ran a small cast, although there's quite a list there, but at any one time it was always quite small. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, and the, the special effects, as I recall, didn't cause any trouble. They all went off quite successfully <laughs> for a change. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were all quite low scale, weren't they? Yeah, really? they were. Like well, so I could go over there whenever I wanted. If you are going to the gardens, will you post those letters for me? Mm, no, it's Valerie and Arthur. I remember them both saying to me once that they thought that youth was wasted on the young. <laughs> and I said, oh, goodness, do you think youth's wasted on me? And they said, no, we'll make an exception for you. But on the whole, we think youth's wasted on the young. Boo! Now, one of these girls in this configuration was my double. Oh, right. And that was someone who also was taught by Jane Raleigh, who was our tutor, and she spent a lot more time with her than, than I did. <laughs> Gardens. I love, I love this soundtrack. Yes. Yes, he, he did two or three for me. They were, they were, all, all were excellent. It was a really amazing house, wasn't it? Mm, yes. It is a really amazing house. It's not ceased to exist, but it must have done well out of the programme. Presumably it had an effect. Uh, uh, yes, I was saying earlier before you arrived that it, it did push up the, uh, the summer visitors quite a bit. Lots of the windows were blocked out, weren't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. From the window tax. It's one of these things, seven steps. What, what was the significance of that? I never quite worked that one out. Well, seven from the dream, isn't it? I mean, isn't that the dream sequence that starts it off? Isn't it a replaying of... Or maybe it's... No, I don't no, think... no, no, it isn't. That was just set up as a kind of device, wasn't mm -hmm. it? But there's all sorts of little references like that. Yeah, it, it? that don't get followed up. <clears throat> no, that's right. I mean, seven is considered to be a magical number. That's right, yeah. And maybe there's some notion of superstitious attachment to things as a way of getting her mum to get better or something yes. along those lines. Yeah. But I used to, um, I, I went in to see, when we were setting it up, went in to see Paul Stone many times, the producer, and say, what, what's, what's happened here? Why, why are they saying that here and this and that? And eventually he got fed up with me. You just said, enough, said, now accept up, it. Go up, no, he said, go up and see Helen. Oh, uh, did you do that? There. Yeah, so I went away up. And we had a nice lunch, a glass of wine, and I had my sheets of questions. And she obviously knew why I was coming. Paul had said to her, look, he's coming up to ask you lots of questions. <laughs> uh, and she launched into this, I don't know what you would say it was, description of the, the whole thing. And I was quite captivated by the way she, she just went on and on and mm. on. And I never, I, 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 come, I came away thinking, oh yeah, I understand it now. <laughs> never asking one of my questions at all. I just, just came away with a feeling of the whole thing. You had her feel for it. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, it is a very inspired story, isn't it? Yes. And she was very passionate about it. Yes, she was. That was the crane that you said cost more than me. <laughs> No, wasn't the, it? The, oh no, that wasn't. It was the crane this, from this, above, wasn't it? Right, this this was just a. Yes. I remember the circular track yeah. going around. Yeah. And Trevor, uh, Trevor the cameraman was was violently sick after every one. Oh, was, was he? Terrible motion sickness. Yeah, I bet. This was the crane. This is it yeah, from so, above. Yeah, yeah. We got it in for one day, didn't we? And did all the costumes <laughs> yes. sort of, and adjustments that we could use it over and over again. Makes me sick to look at it. <laughs> I 
I mean, nowadays you'd sort of use special effects and things, wouldn't you, to make that's it more right. dramatically different. That's but right. there are so that's many right. things that were less sophisticated about, you know, Indeed. the Indeed. whole process. Yeah. I mean, we could have taken the colour out of that, but um, yeah. we were taking the colour out of the night shots as well, so it, yeah. been, it was all going to get a bit confusing. He just so looked the part, didn't he? Oh, he does, yes. I ain't never seen one at talk before. Who are you? I've seen ghosts before, you know. All bits and bobs of things, anyway. In broad daylight, placing over your face. I struggled so much to keep my face still. That was one of the skills that I learned as time went on, was how to stay still. I had this kind of thing where I felt almost like a Chinese dubbed movie, I remember saying at the time, you know, like there was sort of more movement than ever was necessary, facially. Well, that's the difference between the, the stage and the yeah. and film. But also it was a skill that I developed in film. It just took time and this was the mm -hmm. first... Go, sort of Wallace and Gromit effect. What a good little actor he was, eh? Hmm? Really good little actor. They're not solid. Yeah. Yeah. Some yes, yes. Mine going through for years. Entirely believable. It won't. It'll be the other way around. It was a tongue twister for me that when I couldn't seem to say it. <laughs> It'll be the other way around. I can say it now. Bless if I be a girl. I remember the setting up of that shot as well, very much that kind of, no, your hands, <laughs> sort of yeah, origami of fingers. <laughs> and also the tension of holding it there, you know, <laughs> the suspense. I came out once in my dressing gown to put my rubbish out and the, um, the dustman said to me, um, Oi, Minty, and I went, oh, hello, that was quick. How did you pick that one up? He went, I'm a friend of Tony's, I still have ah. him, I saw you. Tony Sands. <laughs> Tony Sands. I think we established that he was working with some underprivileged children somewhere now. David. Yeah, Fields, I read it? that too. And he was talking about Jane, actually, our tutor. Maria, yeah. Remember Juanita? Of she course, was... Juanita. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> What a name. Very grand. Who could forget? And then I told you about Ian Dow, who asked yeah, me to go along yeah, and do a yeah. talk at his drama group and had all these outtakes that he, he showed the children and then made me an edited version of, yeah, which yes. sadly I can't get access to. Don't know where they are. Liz Friedman, who did the graphics, hated the music. Did she? And she actually got our, one of our friends to do a complete alternative. Oh. And Dave Ferguson went ballistic. Uh, but uh, I think the music's really it did. successful. It's terrific, yeah. Yeah. But the graphics are great. She did a great job there. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, and here we have Jacqueline Pierce. Very nice. Your mentor. Yes. We we became very good friends. I was just completely taken with her charisma. Um. I remember going up to sort of spend time in her in her hotel room and she'd have breakfast brought to her and her bath in the mornings and all these rituals that she went through hours before filming started. Talking of baths, you, we had to stop you having candles in your bath, is that? You, yeah, that you put candles around your bath and the hotel manager Oh, he flipped off his head. Yes, that's right. <laughs> My sort of hippie touches the weren't appreciated. Does. And the, the endless Bob Dylan as well. I <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I was from his own time. Now do you understand? What a sensible. I mean, even now she just sort of fills the screen, doesn't she? She's the house has been yes. I can go even says she's in South house Africa house. now. Make sure you don't look yeah, I don't know about this. I haven't mm. had any contact with her for quite a long time. But she, um, I remember her saying to me once, darling, I'm the leading lady. <laughs> and I said, oh. I thought I was. And she said, no, darling, you're the juve lead. I'm the leading lady. Obviously. 
<laughs> You're the juve, darling. You should just be happy with that. I age. can't have ever the water. <laughs> She's a bit of a Cruella de Vil, isn't she? I remember borrowing her coat and her laughing, and her laugh just carried across those, you know, those dining halls we were just talking about <laughs> were huge, and it would echo around these stuff, and you could hear it from, you know, across a field, you'd be able to hear it. And she'd say, bring back my coat, you cow! <laughs> <laughs> she was very grand, but um, she, she took uh, directions very well. She never... If you had said, bring it back a little bit. Oh, she loved it. She loved it. being directed, yeah. isn't it? She adored you. She was sure that there was going to be a spin-off series of, of just her <laughs> and, and, and Sarah. Her and Sarah locked away. Uh, but it's yeah. true, it would have been, with her doing it, it would have been a fascinating series. I think I took that lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I must ask Malcolm about all this. This is... <laughs> I think I walked off with quite a few props. <laughs> you couldn't go for a meal with her. On the on the rare occasions where she joined us for an evening meal, you and Helen were terribly impressed with the fact that people would come up to the table all the time and ask for her autograph. Oh, for Jackie's? Mm. Yeah. I remember actually being out once with Dudley Sutton and Brian Cox and we were all sitting around this table and one of them commented on the fact that they were going to be recognised. There was this sense that they were about to be recognised. And, there was, and we all had a laugh about it. And then somebody came up and asked for my autograph and it just made <laughs> us all die. This sort of person who'd done one job, you know, the one being <laughs> recognised. I, I remember afterwards, the next thing that I went on to was um, a play called The Fifteen Streets in Birmingham. And I said to you, Sarah, you should come up and, um, and see what's going on. I remember said, it well. Why would I want to do that? And I said, because it's stage and it's a different discipline and so it will be interesting for you and you can be backstage with me. Oh, yes. So you came. And then we went out in the street one day and you were stopped constantly by kids in the street who mm. recognised you from Moondial. I remember being I remember being mobbed. I mean, it was quite sort of quite serious the effect that it had. And people now, everyone's a star and everyone's famous for 15 minutes, but then it was much more of a novelty mm. to be seen like that. Mm. And, you know... I can see how unsophisticated I was and look now in retrospect, but as I say, people now are so much more used to the medium of film um, that, that they think nothing of it now. But at that time, it just had a really strong effect on people. I remember going to a school in Southall and having to sign all these autographs, and there were just, you know, hundreds of kids that I was signing autographs for. And there was a, even a fan club set up, actually, around really? Mundal. Yeah, where there was lots of mail and somebody was helping me deal with the mail that came in. I remember taking the Potter children to Somerset House for some drawing before the film came out. And, and then at the end, we all went out and looked at the river. And I said to them, make the most of it, because when the film comes out, you won't be able to do anything like this. And they clearly just didn't believe me. Mm. And then it came out, and that was that. Mm. They couldn't go anywhere. Mm. But then, you know, there came a point where I was saying, God, Dad, everyone's obsessed by it. And you went, no, Siri, the only person obsessed by it is you. Now you're... <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet. Back in your box. <laughs> it's all over. Yeah, yeah it's, it's over. <laughs> Helen and I took it up to the school with all the, the, the kids who were extras. And we showed it to them. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, that was quite good. Why wasn't I invited? I don't know. That was really pronto. I you going off for your little jollies with Helen and leaving me at yes. school <laughs> doing my GCSEs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were mortified that they didn't get a, a credit, which I thought was a pity because we should have given them the school. Something, yes. Yeah, yeah. But they were running around to... But that was in the days when you had to watch credits. Yes. They well, didn't yeah, speed and you away. You, you had to sit there and, you yes, know, yes. twiddle your thumbs. Never, credits on, never got credits on television. Mm. It was a real bone of contention. You only ever got a credit on a film. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. See, where's she going here? This has is, this is always fooled me. This is the last episode. So that's, that's Miss Raven going off somewhere. Mm. <laughs> I'll never see her again. I remember that grave really well, that one with the cat yeah. sitting on it. I remember we all leant on that and just spent, sort of became this sort of rather domesticated space with cups of tea all over yes, it, right, yes. <laughs> leaning on that gravestone. Yeah, it's a bit of a clean cat, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah.
And that I think you can so often tell it's daylight, can't you? With sort of this sort of bright yes, sunlight yes. coming yeah. through the trees. Yeah. But it's, it, it, it's, it's a weird effect, which is, I mean, it's, it's not night. No. Almost, obviously, but uh, it has a kind of otherworldly f- yes. feel to it. Well, it did the trick. People were very yeah. taken with yeah. it. I mean, I remember yeah. there are lots of adults that come up to me now that... There are people who watched it, even though they weren't children at the time. There were lots of people who were older who engaged with it as well. But I remember things that I saw when I was a child that had a really big influence for me. And Mm. I'm sure if I looked at them now, I'd see how Mm. old-fashioned they looked. But at the time, they were really powerful. And you just had less going on, didn't you? There was less choice. Yes, that's right. Less going on. And it was all... A particular time too that you couldn't look at it days later on a on a playback. Yeah. You had to be yeah. you had to stay in to watch it. Yeah, it was more of an occasion, wasn't it? Yes. I don't know how long she took to write it, but she obviously went visited the place two or three times and saw the, the moon dial, the sundial and the gargoyles and this, that and the other and she put, just kept piling things in that she'd spotted here. Oh, you mean when she came back and you were doing the, at the script stage after the book? But, but, well, before she even wrote the script, I think. Oh, she, yes. She just went round and saw this and saw that and piled it all in. It's a really good idea though, isn't it? The idea oh, yes. of what happens when when it's not the sun shining on the sundial, it's the yes. moon that shines yes. on the sundial, and what happens to time. It's a great idea, actually. And this is the, the nauseous swirl. Yes, Trevor throwing up. <laughs> but even that's rather lovely, isn't it? It's like a seashell. It's kind of well, so nice it, Yes, yes. The idea was like like an old one of these spinning tops that you used to press down, mm. and it's set off. It's cold. Look. How did you cast um, Tony? Um, same bit of going up to Anna Shares and saying, "This is what we're looking for." Or I said, Anna Sher is slightly different. Anna Sher didn't like that. She used to turn on everybody. Mm. And she went through a kind of workshop with everybody. Mm. Uh, doing the various I remember things. going and doing those workshops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you would, you, you had to say, I want, I would like to I speak want that to one. That one, there, that one there. It was like sort of um, yeah. a cardo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe your finger over those yeah, children. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'll have that one delivered tomorrow well, morning. I love that shot there. I don't know why. That was something about that. Do you still do? Do you still take photos, Colin? Are you still kind yes, of visually yeah, like that? Yeah. I mean, I know everybody does, but is it something you're really into? No, not so much. No, no, no. She was the devil's child. Mm. Devil's child, yes. I always thought it was a shame that this mark didn't go at the end. That somehow or other, the devil's mark would be wiped off. Oh, you imagine that would be a good... I don't, I don't remember what the outcome was. It, it, it must, yeah. What a lovely dress. That was Juanita, wasn't it, designing one of those? Yes, things? yes. Yeah, she was, she was quite She something. was so grand. Mm. Well, she was very big time. I'm not quite sure how they managed to get her, actually. She must have been at a loose end. You, you kept one of these masks, didn't you, Jane? Was no, it? the pumpkins. Mm. Oh, no, the masks are too frightening. The pumpkins, and I had it as a... <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of them and used them as lamps for ages. Oh, the pumpkins, yes. Mm-hmm. It's very sweet, all of this, this, this kind of idea, isn't it, of letting the moonlight go on her face. Mm. Yes. And also very appropriate to the time when people did think of disabilities as Shameful. Yes. demonic, yes. you know, and yeah, yeah. afflictions you bring upon yourself. 
this is an effect I, I really didn't believe was going to work. That, these, the eyes and the mouth were just bits of material put behind. There's no lights in these. Uh, oh, really? No. And the light was behind the camera. And that was 50 yards away. Wow. And as long as they kept... So they had to keep facing reflectively. That's right, that's right. Oh, God, I, re I seem to remember you sort of really having to insist on that. That's right, yeah. For that reason. Absolutely, then. yeah. Yeah, and having a big hoo-ha to get them all to mm. hold them in the right direction. Mm. Because the effect would be spoiled immediately, wouldn't it, if you that's didn't right. get that? That's right, yeah. Yeah, let's get them. Mm. Excellent masks. Who was who? Who made those? Who designed them? Was well, probably that, Juanita. I th I think so. I yeah. th I seem to remember drawings for them mm -hmm. <laughs> that were all up all over the walls. Do as I say. Go back to the pool and drop your lanterns in the water. It's just got quite a nice moment, I think, where you you're having a go at them and then suddenly you run out of steam. And Tom comes Shut in with the, the line about the devil. Mm. If you open them again before the last stroke. Current affairs, expertise, <laughs> from the man on the floor. The devil get ya. Yeah, it's a word. <laughs> and did you have the same feeling with him as soon as you saw him? Yes, oh yes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, he was a dream, I mean, he really, <laughs> he really looked pinched. Didn't oh, he? he was just Pale. fabulous, yeah. yeah. And the candles don't go out in the water. Kind no, that's no, wonderful. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'd never have noticed that until you said it. So, so I hope you've ruined it for everyone else as much <laughs> as me, Colin. <laughs> Shouldn't have bothered with that Walkman. I should have taken her dress. I really wanted. This was Halloween, wasn't it? But, uh... Twelve o'clock at Halloween. And mm. Again, again, the significance of that. Hour. Yeah, the witching hour. When they walk and the the dead come out. That's the shot that was in the Radio Times. I've got that stuck into a scrapbook somewhere. That <laughs> picture. Did you keep in touch with anybody afterwards, apart from me? Um, Jackie. Yes. Yeah. I, I meant the children, actually. Um. Gosh. Not for long enough for it to really stay with me, in the sense that now we're talking, it was nearly thirty years ago. And I think a little bit, Tony. I must have done. Tony and I must have stayed in touch a little bit because, in fact, you know, I saw Tony actually outside Camden Mews when we were living there. So I saw Tony. I think in the news agents, and we we had a long talk. Um. <laughs> so we bumped into each other, and I'm sure that he encouraged me to go to Anna Sher. So I think that there was some communication. Just afterwards. You started taking, going to her on a regular basis, did you? No, I went along to meet her because uh, I liked the idea of doing something a bit more sort of grassroots and, yeah, yeah. and practical. And what she was offering was very much giving children the skills. But I can't remember why. I mean, she definitely accepted me. She wanted me to go and join mm -hmm. her agency. Mm -hmm. And I can't quite remember how it worked out, but I think I decided to go in a different direction. And, and so I sort of lost touch with Tony in the process. Mm. Who was your agent? Well, at that time, the school were. So yeah. the Corona yeah. would be yeah. your agent. Yeah. And um, and it was a shambles, an absolute shambles. <laughs> it was sort of run. Well, it was. It was. It, the whole thing was just you know, um, all over the place. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it's still, it's not there anymore. Um, I'm, not I'm sure there are relatives. <laughs> <laughs> so who did you go with? Um, I, I went 
initially I got, I rem in fact, I wrote about this. I brought a diary entry along all about this, about just after Moondial, going into ICM. Oh, yeah. And signed up with them, only to find that the agent that I'd signed up with was actually in the process of leaving. <laughs> so it was all sort of, woohoo, ICM. And then it was like, oh, <laughs> right, independent business. Okay, <laughs> let's see where this goes. And it was, it, it, they, he joined up with a couple of other people and formed a Creative Artist Management. Mm -hmm. And so I was with them for a long time. And oh, my, my agent ended up being somebody called Michael Wiggs, who, oh, yeah. who became a very good friend at the time. So, yes, it was, it was Michael. And she comes now. She's like Mrs. Danvers. This was difficult to, to, to do. Do you remember this yeah, kind Yeah, of? yeah, I did. And this was, I think there was some sort of wire, wasn't there, in the, in the, at the end of that, that yeah, shattered it? Yeah, yeah well, you, you mean her, her dress, the black? No, I meant well, the, well, mirror. The, the, the mirror. The mirror. The remember that, mirror. no. I remember there being some sort of suction pad on the back of the mirror that shattered it. Hmm. Or, I entirely imagined that and thought of a brilliant solution that clearly no one else agreed was a good idea. It's probably another one of my ideas that never actually happened, like my alternative ending for Miss Raven. Now there's a good face. So did we actually see the mirror break there? You know, I'm, I'm thinking if that was a special effect. I don't think effect. we did, no. no. It's almost, uh... I think what happened is we talked about the problem of it and I came up with this marvellous solution. <laughs> and I've and remembered it. And I've remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, child. <laughs> The great thing about it was, the script was, in a funny kind of way, it allowed us, all of us, myself, Malcolm, and we all put little bits of our, ourselves into it. Mm. What what prompted you to say that at that moment? What was well, it that, thinking that mirror, um, for example, was in your, the house, Aunt Mary's house. Yes. Um, but it was also in Miss Vole's room, that boudoir. Yes. We had it lying on the... Yes. Uh, and Helen thought that was a terrific idea, that this mirror was appearing yeah. down through the ages, yeah. Oh, through the ages, yeah, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. And there, the, this bedroom, you were very enamoured of it at the time, I remember. You thought the wallpaper was delightful. Right. And it was such a lovely bedroom and how you oh. wished that your bedroom was was like that. Did I really? Oh. Yes. Well, you took most of it away anyway, so it's... <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Siri removal. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole house is very charming, I have to say. It's got a really lovely aspect. I tell you, there was. There was now, this nurse, she, he fancied her terribly, I remember that. Me? No, not you, Colin, please. Calm down. No, it was him. <laughs> I remember him. Oh, him yeah. Yes. Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember that's that nurse. A, yeah, is that the long shot you're, you're thinking about? Um, no, it yeah. was another one. It was literally down a corridor mm -hmm. with lots of tears. I had lots of sort of fake tears oh, right. and I had to put all this stuff in my eyes to make all the tears happen. Oh, this sort yes, of, no, this kind that, yeah. of Vicks vapour stuff that you put your <laughs> eyes over a bag and get the tears rolling. Well, better than onions that they used to eat. Yes, and then you told me about the onions mm. at the time. But I remember later on when I did the children having Rosemary Leach say something very useful to me. She said, when you're asked to cry as an actress, you must never try and cry. You must always try not to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I never looked back. <laughs> Man, it's minty. Bit of whiplash there, I think. <laughs> About Tom and Sarah in the moon dive. This was in the days before those ads telling you that you could make a fortune from your whiplash. <laughs> She 
woken up to find a fur ball on her head. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, it's a big dog. <laughs> That's right. I had that once. I went to a pub and when I was about this age and went under the table to stroke somebody's dog and he had thick milk bottle glasses on and just started stroking my head. <laughs> and I had to tell him to stop. He didn't even realise. Mr Jones's taxi to the station. Did she have a big ginger cat on her shoulder? Oh, really? I mean, do the things you say. I must say you look quite this is a scene. She says, Auntie Mary says something about your washed clean. That's right. Yes. And I thought that might have been you coming out of this trauma that you'd been yes. put into by the, yeah. the original accident. Oh, Colin, you're so deep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all in white as well. Yes. 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 I remember being the youngest person to do Jack and Nori, read a Jack and Nori, an episode of Jack and Nori. And it had this similar thing of, you know, sort of jeans and trainers. And just only look back now and realise how dreadful the whole thing was. The sort of jeans and trainers. Like I remember doing an episode of Jack and Nori walking through a sort of country house with these bright white trainers on and these jeans and your eyes are drawn down. And what did you read? I did a, it was a feminist fairy tale called Florizella and the Wolves and I enjoyed it so much. I loved the idea of reading a story. Also, Jack and Ori is such an iconic childhood memory really of mm. all the episodes of Jack and Ori growing up. That's beautiful, isn't it? What, what were um, her politics... Helen Cresswell, because it is quite a, a feminist story in a way. Yeah, oh, oh, yes, certainly, certainly feminist, yes, yes. Although I say earlier, I, I haven't read any of your other things at all, whether um, uh, Carrie's, Carrie's War, that's her. Um, hmm, don't know. But also it's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite right that she, as a, as a female writer, should shed the spotlight on a female character and, yes. you know, have, yeah. have a female protagonist because yeah. we so often have the other, don't we? This is, it's really interesting. And it's a very well-drawn character, isn't it, Minty? It is, it? yeah. What a blessing, really, to have been given that role so young. You were very lucky, weren't you? Very lucky. Oh, that's one of the masks was based on that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's right. The yes, masks were based that, so that on was when yeah. I remember we were mentioning that, yeah. Back to the old sundown. But do you know what's interesting? Can you see my hair getting blonder? I is remember that happening where we had a, a bit of a match-up issue sometimes because being out there for the, those weeks in the sun mm -hmm, literally changed mm -hmm. the colour of my hair during it the was, filming. Yeah, the weather was good. I don't remember anything about the inside of that church. I don't think we bothered. We much. had a we had a scene in there that was that was cut. There was a um, you and um, Miss Raven. Miss Raven, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Why was it cut? Length. Too long. Couldn't, couldn't, mm. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's coming back to me now. Mm. Another one of these scenes, like the one where you walked. That uh, that curved area with all the the basins, the the alcoves with the basins. Mm. And you say an alcove with ba with basins, but no taps. And you think, oh, what's that got to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> and the same with the, the scene in the church. It's something to do with one of these. What would you call? It? Not the, the, the the statues laid out, and you said something about the, the grave. But again, bent nothing, yeah. You know, this is a bit of uh, symmetrical shooting again. Lovely. Love they've gone up to that. That's, that's part of the, the estate up at the top there, too. Very good. But 
but it's it's interesting how slow the credits look now. We're so yeah. used to oh, them just quite, whizzing yeah. past. Yeah, right. But it's it's actually quite unsettling, isn't it? This is much more calming. Mm. And it, it's just assuming that everybody has absolutely no attention span and won't tolerate it. <laughs> you think, really, quite frankly, you're just finishing your cup of tea. It's fine for them to go slowly. A bit of nice music. <laughs> no one died. <laughs> Steve Haggard. You haven't got a footage outside home, have you? I might have. I have got Steve. I definitely have Steve. I have Steve sitting in a car. I shall find him for you. <laughs> <laughs>